Well, this new year will bring new people to several top elected offices, including governor, attorney general, and three Metro Detroit congressional seats. The race for one of those could be the hottest with some star power in the running. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzer is live on Detroit's west side with the story, Jim. Yeah, we're outside the Mathis Community Center. You can see it's closed for the holiday today. This is on Greenfield near Seven Mile. Ironically, just a couple of miles from the home of Congressman John Conyers. This is the center for this guy you see on TV, the TV judge, Greg Mathis. And this is where he gives back to his community through several programs, including the Judge Mathis Foundation. The police misconduct and use of excessive force plaguing our country must stop. Greg Mathis was a judge here in Detroit before retiring and dispensing justice here on TV. We've not been able to contact him, but he's now touted as a possible candidate to fill the seat of John Conyers, who was the longest current serving member of the U.S. House with 53 years before he resigned last month amid a sexual misconduct scandal. Imagine this voice in the race. He running from the street gangs. How many young people run from the street gangs and try and escape? None. Most of them stay there and try and survive and kill each other. And yeah, I'm crying because I see myself in it. Other possible candidates for Conyers' seat is his son, John Conyers Jr., and nephew, State Senator Ian Conyers. Another congressional seat is opening up in Oakland County as Dave Trott is not running for re-election. And on the east side, longtime Congressman Sander Levin is retiring. The race for governor is wide open with former State Senate Democratic leader Gretchen Whitmer and Republican Attorney General Bill Schuette at the top of the ticket to replace Governor Rick Snyder, who is term limited out. Say, now is the time for us to step up and take back the state. Another top contender will be the right-hand man to Governor Snyder. I'm also the only one with a detailed, specific plan on how to take it to the next level. Now back to the Conyers race, a man by the name of Michael Gilmore will announce he's in tomorrow as a candidate, and he's also suing Governor Rick Snyder for not holding a special election. By not doing so, that means the seat, Conyers' seat, will remain vacant for all of 2018. Happy new political new year. Live on the west side of Detroit, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank you. Well, folks